All right, let's take a look at another rational equation. This one has three pieces. Now, the one that we just did that had one fraction equal to another, that's called a proportion, and cross products are equal, so that might have been an easier way to solve that. So if you remember that from 0 through 10, good for you. If you don't, shame on you. Here, yes, shame, shame. Now, this guy, let's see about getting a common denominator, just like in the last one. That way, I can just worry about the numerators. So what will I do here? Factor. Factor what and how? How does this guy factor? I wonder. I wonder if I gave any hints at all about how this guy factors. All right, way to jump in there. X plus 1, X minus 6. So can you identify the LCD here? <laughs> X plus 1, X minus 6. What are the missing factors? That, what is this guy missing? Nothing. Nothing. What is this guy missing? <coughs> is missing the factor of x minus, can I just put it down there and just walk away? Yeah. Break the wrist, walk away? Sure. No. You got to put up here in the numerator as well. Come on now. Homie, don't play that. What about this one? What's missing here? X plus 1. Does everybody have the same factors in the denominator? Yes. Then I don't need to worry about those guys. If it helps you out, you can cross those out. See, I don't know which one's where we keep them and which ones we are. This is an equation. So in an equation, not. if you have all the same denominators, that means that the numerators have to be equal. If I just had a, like a, this right here, if it were just a minus, mm -hmm. you cannot sure. clear out fractions because it's addition and subtraction. You have to have like denominators in order to combine those guys. Uh -oh. And you keep that same sure. denominator. But now let's see what I have here. So this guy's just x. Then what? Minus 7x minus 42. Minus 7x minus 42? Plus. Oh, yeah. Plus. Plus. It is. What? That's a negative 7, isn't it? So when you distribute that to the negative 6, that becomes a positive. What does that mean? Watch your signs. I hate how much I have to write that. What do you have on the right side? 4x plus 4. 4x plus 4, not 4x plus 1. Make sure you do distribute correctly. What kind of equation do I have here? Is this quadratic or linear? Linear. It's linear. What tells you it's linear? There's, there's All you have is x to the first power. That's it. Since this is linear, you use linear methods to solve this. That means you get all the variables to one side, constants to the other. So how do I do that? So what, where do you want the x's to be? Okay, so let's, before we do that, maybe we should clean this up. This is negative 6x plus 42 equals 4x plus 4. If I move the x's to the right, I get what? If I move the 4 to the left, what do I get? 38. <coughs> I get 38, right? Negative 38. I don't get negative 38. If I subtract 4 on both sides. Well, you get negative 38 if you do it the other yeah, way. I you get negative 10x equals negative right. 38. Right. Right. It's, you know, you know, 4, 1 half dozen the other. Yeah, right. <laughs> I like x left. I like x to have a positive coefficient. Doesn't matter. No, no, we can all be our own OCD however we want to be. <laughs> what? I reduced this, so what does x equal? 19 fifths. And as I'm sure that some of you have already done, you can put this into the solver on your graphing calculator and just get the answer. It's over. I hate this thing. It's so easy and gives me the answer. I hate it. Annoying. Now, I boxed this. Maybe I shouldn't have boxed this. Were there any restricted values that we had to pay attention to? Yeah. Restricted values were what? Six. Negative, one. Negative 1 and positive 6, right? Do I have that? 
No, so this guy should be good to go.